Hello and welcome back to the Commissioner's Office. Today we're opening up Pokemon Celebrations Booster Packs. I haven't seen these in stores in a very long time, but found them at my favorite card shop, so I decided why not buy a few of these. Um, I bought the Shining Magikarp at Pokemon Regionals a few weeks ago to round out my binder. We'll go over that a little bit before the video starts as well. See what else I need. I think it's a maximum of like maybe five, six cards. But today we're going to be opening up the Charizard box from Celebrations, four Ch Celebrations booster packs, plus two extras from the Sword and Shield era. We have the little lunchbox featuring Pikachu, and then the Hydreigon, a uh, Toxi Toxtricity card, and whatever the other one is there, uh, Mimikyu. And then we have the final one, the smaller tin featuring Sylveon, which has four Celebrations booster packs, and then two additional booster packs from the Sword and Shield era. So without further ado, let's open some Celebrations. Welcome back to the commissioner's office. Here we go. We are going to start opening up some Celebrations product. It's been a long time since I've opened any. I think I opened a few on some short reels on my TikTok, but today we're just going to start ripping these open. We're going to just lay them all out and open them in whichever way we want to. So open these very carefully, obviously. I haven't opened these tins in probably over a year, but they are gorgeous. I really think these tins are uh, stylish. I love the gray and white kind of uh, look to them. There's the Dark Sylveon card. This one looks in really good condition. There's a code card. You guys can have that one. Um, Dark Sylveon, though. Yeah, that's a nice card. We're going to put a sleeve on that. I don't think promos are really worth that much, but, you know, stuff like the Blastoise VMAX and the um, Venusaur VMAX, those are going for like 20 30 bucks a piece. And then I saw the Maridon from um, Pokemon Center, exclusive for their, what was that? Not Paldea Evolved. Scarlet and Violet base. Those are going for like 30 bucks, 35 so you get one, two, three, four booster uh, celebrations out of here and a battle styles and vivid voltage. So that's really good. Get a sleeping Tyranitar out of there. Get the rainbow Pikachu. That'd be fantastic. I'll probably just cut these segments up. And then you get this nice little, I don't know, paper. This is, oh, owners, Lance's Charizard, dark, dark Pokemon, blah, blah. Nice tin, empty. Put that aside. And we're just going to rip all these right now and splice this video together really easily. So you're mostly just seeing minimal ripping open of these, and you're mostly seeing me open up the Pokemon packs. There's that. Now these are nice. I'll, I'll get this out of the way so we can actually see this. These lunch boxes are fantastic. The coin's right there on top. Wow, that's dumb. Oh, it slipped out. That's why. But you get these three promos, which are definitely the best out of the entire um, celebrations sets, promos-wise. Oh, yeah, Hydreigon right there. C. So let's check these out one by one. Hydrogen C, level 61. Gorgeous. They have like a different kind of hollow than the rest of the cards. I don't know who that trainer is, unfortunately. Light to Toxtricity, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. I do dig on the um, blue Mohawk version or purple, whatever you'd want to call it. Then this one right here, the Mimikyu, has this nice gold border to it. And he's um, Delta species, so water, it looks like, instead of Psychic. And these are all going to get their own sleeves. Oops, upside down. Zoop. And finally, these are nice though. These I don't feel get enough attention. These are probably the best promo cards that I've seen in a couple years. Um, it looks like some more battle styles on the right side there. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six celebrations booster packs to add to the other four. So we're already at 10. And there's only four cards in each one of these. Let's see. Yep, vivid voltage and battle styles, kind of what I expected. So we got now two and two. I don't hate battle styles. A lot of people do. I know it's a cheap set. It's one of the most underrated. It's not as bad as Rebel Clash. Rebel Clash, again, I don't think is that bad. I think you got a really cool uh, trainer card in there uh, with the Giovanni's boss's orders. Stickers, stickers, and these notepads. I use these notepads all the time. Oh, yeah, the little mini, mini binder. So you can fit single cards in there one by one. And then, again, one of these little sheets. Cool. All right, and then the last one's gonna be the Lance Charizard box. This one's gonna be a pain. Boxes are always hard to open on these recordings. Very difficult, because it's hard to get it all in, in camera. And uh, yeah, there it goes. Glue doesn't wanna work. Gotta open it from two. Still doesn't work. Now it's working too well. Okay. Ugh. Look at this. this. This is how it's opening. I, you can see I opened it from that angle now. Jeez. Wow, oh, I 
like that, really. I guess whatever way gets us our Pokemon cards. Throw that over there. They really do waste a lot of plastic with these. Shouldn't have to have that much plastic to throw around. There's the Lance's Charizard right there. That's a gorgeous card. This one goes for like four or five bucks, I think. I sold a couple of them on, on eBay. I don't find a lot of use for them. I mean, people want Charizard cards regardless of which one it is. That's fine. I mean, everybody wants Charizard in their collections. That's okay. One, two, three, four more. So we got 14 Celebrations booster packs. And hey, look at this. We got a Darkness, a Blaze, and a Battle Style. So uh, we have a, different, different, a couple different sets to open now in addition to the Just Celebrations. It's a code card. You guys can take it. And now we get to start ripping in Celebrations. Let's start. Should we start with Celebrations or should we start with one of the side booster packs? Let's actually start with the Battle Styles. How about that? Warm ourselves up. So in my, in my binder, I only need like four or five more cards to complete the celebration set. I bought one of them at Regionals. That was a Shining Magikarp, which um, I felt like at the time when these came out was definitely the big one to get in, turn of, in terms of subsets. So Rolly Coley and Mean Shao. Let's actually open up the binder, see what else we need. Ignore the first page because I have no idea why I didn't put in the uh, flying, flying Pikachu ones right here and here. Um, let's see, let's turn this a little bit so we can really see. We got that page full. This page is missing the gold Mew. I have that in a different case. This page has everything. There's a shiny Magikarp, so we're good on that. That should be Dark Garchomp. That should be Luxray, Dark Garchomp, and then Rayquaza. So three cards, and then there's a Hydreigon and the rest of the uh, promo cards at the top, the Greninja, which is one of the nicer ones at the top. Oop, hit the camera, that's okay. All right, so we only need those few cards. So if we pull any of them, we're good. So let's go over to one of the celebrations. These, you don't need to do any card trick. Um, and you know when it's a dud pack, you're not gonna get anything out of them. Get a lot of the Rush Rams and all those dud cards. Nobody really wants them, but you guys could have all the code cards on here. Nobody really cares about using these, any of these in uh, competitive play on Pokemon TCG Live. So nothing out of that first pack already. There's a the code card. And we'll just do a couple of these and then we'll do one of the regular booster packs over and over and over again. Just breeze through. Here's that Ho-Ho-O. -Oh. You're going to probably see him about 10 more times. Palkia, Dialga, Lunala. Nothing. Two booster packs in. Nothing. These are all the throwaway cards. Not to be insulting Pokemon, but... I mean, there's so many. You open a lot of this just to get all the cards. You're going to get a lot of these Reshirams and the Kyogres and the Zekroms and the Mews. So, three in. Absolutely no pulls. That's not good. We will go to a Vivid Voltage with the Celebi on it. Let's see, are we gonna get an amazing rare Celebi out of this? Or are we finally going to pull the rainbow Pikachu that everybody wants to get? I have opened plenty of Vivid Voltage. I still buy it when I can just to get that rainbow Pikachu. Carolus and Metagross non-hollow. Striking out with this opening, guys. Not good. Celebrations, let's go back to that. Gold Mew, another Gold Mew would be cool. That is one. That is my favorite card out of the set. I like gold cards, and I thought that the Gold Mew was perfect for this set. Let's finally get something. Xerneas, nope. Lunala, nothing. Four Pokemon Celebrations packs in without a hit. Without a thing. What's going on here? Looks like there might be something here, but it looks like it's probably just regular V. Nope, it's something. Ooh, the black Zekrom card. Okay, I got plenty of those though. Um, and then the Pikachu full art. So that's those aren't bad pulls. I'll put a sleeve on that. There's the code card. Put a sleeve on the black Zekrom. I feel like I pulled this one. This is the most pulled card that I've had. So it would be nice to get something outside of that. Let's do Darkness Ablaze here. Should have actually done a battle style. Just to do one of everything. Kind of slowly. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah. Here's the code card for that if you really want it. Corvusquire, Fletchhinder, Kabu, Galarian, Daramuka, Larvitar, Nicket, Boon Sweet or Bone Sweet, Wigglytuff, Reverse, and Hippo Hippodon. Hippodon. Striking out, striking out, striking out, striking out. How many more of these do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine more, and then three regular booster packs. So we'll do like three, and then one, three, and then one, three, and then one. Dialga, Reshiram, Ho Oh. And Flying Pikachu, so good. Well, we could just add it to the binder now. Um, 
because like I said, I had that and then the other Flying Pikachu that I had to add, the Flying Pikachu VMAX. So, but it would be so cool to finish this set here. It, it's highly, ooh, there you go, Venusaur, nice. Throw, bra throw it back to vintage. So that's one of the more valuable ones and then a regular Mew and there's a coat guard. I'll take these all day. A Charizard or a Blastoise would be nice too, but the Venusaur has always been uh, my favorite base set artwork. I think he's just so cool. Venusaur would definitely be my starter Pokemon time after time. Well, I mean, I guess that would be uh, Bulbasaur. But with the expectation to evolve into a Venusaur every single time, I would always start with grass. Uh, single Strike Energy Camping Gear, Seedra. Ooh, nice little Pokeball there. I never noticed that. Cherubi, Cherubi, Mainfu, Silicobra, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Level Ball, and an Agislash. We are not getting any rares that are really worth anything here. Not that they have to be worth anything, but just a pull would be nice. Just to round out collections and whatnot. So back to celebrations we go. This pack feels, and, and no, it's hard to feel thinner than four cards, but for some reason it, it does feel thin. Cosmom. Palkia, Reshiram again, and Solgaleo, so nothing there. Gosh, celebrations, yeah. See, I guess I had this feeling of nostalgia. What like, oh my god, open up some celebrations, gonna pull some, have some good pulls. I forgot how disappointing it, it can be at times by just being nothing. Ho oh, oh again, and Lunala. All right, when we're done with this, we're gonna count how many of each of these we pulled already, because I think we're already on quadruples, which is sad. Pulling quadruples already. I mean, we've only, what was it, a 15 packs? I'm trying to do the math, 14? Either way, that's a lot. Kyogre, there we go, yes! Yes, 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 this is exactly the card I wanted to pull. If I could have pulled any of the cards that I needed, this was it, the M Mega Rayquaza. And then we got a double banger pack there with a Professor's Research. But that's perfect right there, the Rayquaza. I'm one step closer to finishing this set now. And this is a beautiful card. This is, this is my chase card of the set besides that gold Mew. Look at all those sparkles. I love that Japanese writing right there. So that would, that's the move Emerald Break, I believe is what that's supposed to say. And so in Japanese, it says Emerald Break there, which is pretty cool. Um, and then we got the Professor's Research, which this is not trading for really anything right now, but it's still nice to have one of those cards. So that's great. We pulled, we pulled one of the cards that we need to finish the set. After that would just be the Garchomp. And what was the last one? Garchomp and, oh, uh, Luxray. Luxray is definitely uh, another one of my favorite uh, Pokemon in general. So that would always be fun to have him just in my set. Blitzel, Milsery, will we get a, a good card out of e any of these booster packs? Jeez, Donphan and Milsery. We got one one booster pack. You know what, we'll just do that because the celebrations is the video. And I just noticed we left four booster packs, so I didn't do it right, I should have opened one more. So we're gonna do the battle styles here and we're just gonna finish on celebrations. Um, this will probably be a midweek drop. This probably will not be a weekly Wednesday video, but just be on the lookout. For all my previous videos too, there's some good stuff that are on there, Unified Minds. Uh, my trip to Pokemon Regionals in Milwaukee, which was a fantastic experience. And then uh, just checking out the new product that I've been putting out there. I haven't had any, I've had a little bit of repeat videos, um, but of course it's gonna happen. I mean, there's only so many sets of Pokemon and stuff's expensive and you gotta fund it somehow. But um, some of the uh, videos will just be mashups of like best sets of sword and shield that are against each other. So I, I did a sun and moon one, which um, actually you'll, I haven't posted it yet. So maybe, maybe that will be posted before I put out this video. So then you could go back and say, Hey, he did say to go look at that video. Tiaga, imposter oak. Oh, that's awful. Ooh, that's terrible. What is that? It's like a bunch of See that right there? You can kind of see it. It's all black right there. And it's the centering looks really bad. Yeah, what's that? Yeah, look at that. There's a whole section of holographic just poking through there. There's like a lot of error with this card. It's really dirty. It looks like a repackage. Like there's a lot of dirt up there. Whatever, we'll still sleeve it up. Don't really need this card. We got two left. Two left, two left, two left, two left, two left, two left. What are we gonna do? We'll do left, two left, so we'll do left. See if we can get the gold Mew or get a good card. Xerneas, there is some poking out. I think it's the gold Mew, get out of here if it is. Cosmo, it's the gold Mew. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. So <laughs> we got two of the best cards. This is the most, this is the biggest chase card again of a set. How do we keep doing it on this channel? I don't understand, uh, but that awesome blue Mew, I can see that gold bordering stick out. So we got a Rayquaza and now we got an extra Mew and this one is perfect. That centering is 
Amazing. This could be an easy 10. Uh-oh. No, it's a little. I don't think that's any, that would be edges. That there's You can't even tell. You can't tell. I can tell, but you can't tell. That's awesome. We got a gold Mew, and we got an M Rayquaza, or Mega Rayquaza, so that's great. That's two big pulls out of this set. And now if we could just get the Garchomp or Luxray, then I will go over to eBay immediately, place an order for the very last card I need out of the set, and be done with it. And then we finish it off with a Dark Gyarados and a Zacian, so another double banger pack, so that's a good way to finish it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you go over to Misfit Cards. Make sure you go check me out on Instagram, uh, TikTok for shorts, because there are a lot of videos of cards that I have uh, that I don't open here on uh, uh, YouTube. I put them straight to TikTok. Go check them out. But thank you guys very much for tuning in, supporting, uh, liking, subscribing, whatever you can do. And this is what we pull on this channel here, guys. Some good stuff. So we got the big ones were the M Mega Rayquaza Venusaur, Flying Pikachu. No, just got to put that in the binder. Zekrom, the Gold Mew, which is the big chase card of the entire set. Dark Gyarados, Sash and V. And just a couple extra cards here and there that we got, you know, the promo card. So thank you again for tuning in. And make sure you tune in every week and double check when I'm posting new videos. See you guys later. Thank you.